Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutation to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be uh, entitled The Famine of the Word. Okay? The Famine of the Word. Okay? Um, the Lord said to watch, okay, unto prayer. So the men of the Lord. You know, beginning with myself first and foremost, you know, we, we're watching, man, because we're commanded to watch. And we're seeing what's going on, you know, seeing what's going on in the news, you know, what's in these different articles, you know, and what's being said. And uh, we're filtering it through the scriptures, man. All right? So the scripture speaks about a famine of the word, and we can see that it's, that's, that's uh, closer and closer upon us. And I got an article from Blacklisted News, and I'm going to read that article. But before I read the article, I'm going to get a scripture real quick. I'm going to start reading the book of Amos, all right, the 8th chapter. I'm going to get, uh, begin at the 11th verse. It says, Behold, okay, the days come, said the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And we know it's also going to be a famine of food. But this is specifically speaking of the words of the Lord, okay? It's going to come a time where it's going to be halted, man. And the men of the Lord is not going to be out on the highways and byways as you can find them right now. In this great spirit, you have liberty to go in and, and, and hear the word of the Lord out on the highways and the byways, in the marketplace, in the chief place of concourse, in the Agora. You could hear the men of the Lord speak this word. But a time is coming well, you're not going to be able to hear them. Why? Because they're going to start passing these different laws and unrighteous decrees, man. You see, this is verse 12, Amos 8 and verse 12. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. And that's why the scripture speaks about the word of the Lord being precious, man. All right, let's get that in the book of 1 Samuel. This is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. Right. So the scriptures say, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 says, There's no new thing under the sun, man. Okay. That which was then is also going to be now. You see? So let's get into this article uh, real quick. And uh, any, any precepts the Spirit lead me to? To the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim I'll I'll bring it out. All right. I didn't uh, I didn't write anything down. This is all of the Holy Spirit, organic. Okay. Um, this is uh, blacklisted news, right? And it says um, it says uh, I didn't get a chance to turn off the notification. Oh my goodness. Uh, Lord willing, too much, too many pop-ups don't pop up. Um, this is blacklisted news, and this article is uh, published on January 18, which is today. Okay, and the title reads, America will soon have hate speech laws. EU Commission VP tells World Economic Forum. Okay, let me read the title again. America will soon have hate speech laws. EU, okay, uh, Commission VP tells World Economic Forum. All right, it says, Source Chris Menahan information liberation uh, let's, let's read through a little of this it says it says um it says the u.s will soon have laws to punish illegal hate speech eu commission vp for values and transparency vera jerova told the world economic forum on tuesday well we know at the end of the day the word of the lord is going out and at the end of the day they, they, uh, um, 
They're really trying to get to the men of the Lord, man. Because truth is going out. Okay, from the Holy Bible. You know? And it says, um, illegal hate speech which you will have which will have soon also in the U in the US. It says illegal hate speech which you will have soon also in the US. I think that we have a strong reason why we have this in the criminal law. Jeruva said, right? We know it says, as I reported on Tuesday, it says rep meaning rep representative Sheila Jackson Lee says D Texas meaning Democrat Texas introduced a bill to the house that would make it a potential hate crime for a, for a white for white people to criticize non white people and senator Ben and, Sen and senator uh, Ben Cardin Democrat Maryland claimed recently that espousing hate is not protected under the first amendment and it says New York State also passed a bill last year aimed at suppressing hateful speech online. So at the end of the day, because truth is going out, man. Okay? That's why they have in all of these different meetings. They just have one in Davos. Okay? They just meet on the 16th. Okay, going into misinformation and all of this other talk with the bring it up or whatever but at the end of the day the scripture says Esau shall be made bare man okay and this is this is the real reason why this is really happening you see as a matter of fact let me grab that scripture real quick now we read we'll read back again okay the truth the truth is going out there man and okay it's, it's going to be deemed hate speech because the bible says what it says man okay these scriptures are found in the Bible. Uh, uh, scriptures like um, uh, what's that? Uh, Revelation thirteen and ten, where it says, um, uh, "He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity." Okay, scriptures like that. They're gonna deem those scriptures to be hate speech. You see, they're gonna they're gonna deem that to be hate speech, man. So let's go uh, to where we had planned to go real quick. This is uh, the book of um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. So at some point, the Bible is going to be banned. Okay, this is this is where we headed, man. Uh, Jeremiah chapter forty-nine, verse ten. Jeremiah chapter forty-nine and verse ten. It says, "But I have made Esau bear. Esau is in the rulership seat right now. He run the world." That's who the Lord is coming back to, according to the book of uh, Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. Who is this coming from Edom and dying garbage from Basra? Okay, you can read that in uh, uh, Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, man. So when the Lord returned, Esau is going to be in rulership. Okay, it says, but I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. You see? So... At the end of the day, these things are happening because the wicked is being made bare, man. Okay? So it says, uh, New York State also passed a bill last year aimed at suppressing hateful speech online. Okay? So it says, during the same WEF, World Economic Forum panel, New York Times owner Arthur Salzberger whined about the ex ex existential threat of disinformation and said people criticizing fake news re reminds him of Nazi Germany. You see? So cre people criticizing fake news reminds him of Nazi Germany. So clearly you can see where this is going, man. The the the, the, the farming of the word is, 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 is going to come into play. Why? Because the scripture speaks about the devil coming out of a great wrath because you know that he has for the short time so what they're going to start to do is is, is, is put put it, these these a lot of these unrighteous decrees out there man okay it, it, it's going to come at a time where you're going to get those draconian style laws man okay um uh let's get this isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1 it says woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees 
and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay, why? Because shameful spewing is on their glory, man. You know, they don't want you to talk about certain things. They want to leave certain things in the past. Okay, EI, uh, uh, slack your IE, for example, slavery, man. They don't want to talk about that. All right? Because they know <laughs> they can't pay the reparations for slavery, man. So they, they prefer not to talk about things like that. You see? But um, let's grab this scripture real quick. Um, a scripture that comes to mind, the book of... Um, uh, the book of Habakkuk. Because this is what's happening right now, 2 and 16. It says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So we live in a time where he's being uh, 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 exposed, man. He's being revealed. Okay? And people starting to see uh, what's going on in the earth. You see? People starting to see it, man, and calling, and calling it out. And the fact that it's being called out, right? This is what's going to bring in the famine of the word. You see? That article talk about... Um, huh, let's go back to the, to the title of the article again. Okay, the title of that article, it says, America will soon have hate speech laws. EU Commission VP tells World Economic Forum. Right? So, at the end of the day, they're planning on, uh, 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 on, on muzzling muzzling anyone who's speaking truth man okay but the scriptures tell you how no matter what they do the truth is going to be declared man let's go to the book of um what's that second Ezra, second Ezra, the sixth chapter uh jumping here at the 27 verse it says for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth Okay, and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. So even though they're gonna uh, try to uh, 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 punish people for speaking out, at the end of the day, the truth is still gonna be declared, man. As they say in the world, the cat, the cat is already out the bag. You see, the cat is already out the bag. But this is a warning for you to get this word now. Because the word is precious so you can get the understanding of what's happening in the world through the Holy Spirit, through the scriptures, through the man of the Lord teaching out on the highways and the byways. Okay, that the word uh, is a time coming that this word is going to be shut up. You know, the scripture speaks about a crying in the wine, crying for wine in the street, meaning meaning the uh, the understanding of this word, man. You see? Um, just if I can find that real quick. Uh... This is um This is the book of Isaiah chapter 24 Um Right uh, Isaiah chapter 24 I started uh I'll start at um, I'll start at 6 It says Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth And they that dwell therein are desolate Okay It says Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned And few men left The new wine mourneth The vine lingereth All the merry hearted do sigh The mirth of tambour ceaseth The noise of them that rejoice ended The joy of the harp ceaseth Okay, this is the time that we're coming into, man. Okay, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, speaks of those that look out of the window be darkened, man. Okay, the future look bleak, look grim. You see, because truth is going forth. You know, the squeeze is getting put on. They're trying to muzzle the people from speaking out. Okay, it says, verse 9, They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down, right? The daughter of Babylon, man. A.K.A. America. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. This is the point. Verse 11. 
There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. So there's a crying for wine, wine in the street. That wine represents the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. People are going to be crying for the understanding when shit hit the fan. But guess what? You would have already lost, okay? You would have already lost or forfeited uh, 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 you receiving the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If you don't get it now in this great spirit, while you have liberty to do so, okay? The scriptures, I brought it out. Amos 8 and 11, a famine of the words of the Lord. is a time coming that you're not going to be able to get this. So there's going to be a crying for wine in the street. You're going to be out there bawling and crying, trying to get the understanding of what's going on. Okay? When martial law is in play, troops are out in the streets, you ain't going to be able to get the understanding then. So it will behoove you to seek the Lord right now. As the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he's near. Okay? Isaiah 55 and 6. You see? But the scriptures speaks about a time where it's going to be a famine of the word. Why? Because these unrighteous decrees. You see? You ain't going to be able to go and speak. You ain't going to have online platforms to speak what you want to speak. Okay? They already be moving videos and things off YouTube. Alright? So, hey man, that time is coming. So let's get this scripture and we're going to get ready to close out. This is the book of, um, let's go to, uh, let's get Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel. Uh, as the elder apostles say, inside joke. Uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, around about the 26th verse. It says, uh, And I will make thy tongue, this is this is speaking to the prophets, man, the men of the Lord that, that are out on the highways and the byways now in these times. All right, it says, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, meaning a corrector. Reprove means to correct, right? So we will even be able to correct you when when is the famine of the word, okay? The man and the Lord are not going to be out on the highways and the byways when troops are in the street and all hell is broken loose and uproars of the people. The man and the Lord are not going to be out on the highways and the byways. So it behoove you to get this word now. Scripture says it's precious. So let me read this again and I'm going to close it out. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So if you don't get it now, I will be sorry for you later. All right? So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edified. I'm going to end it there. I'll give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.